This was so easy to do. I can't believe how fast I turned this into that. If you are a coffee drinker, this video is definitely for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another review. Today we are reviewing this Head and Ephron. Um, it's their electric coffee grinder. So if you are a coffee drinker, this is for you. And if you are not a coffee drinker, maybe this will turn you into a coffee drinker. So let's see. This box was really simple. Only two things came in the box. Let's unwrap this cord. And I want to start by saying a huge thank you to... Um, Head on Ephron, thank you so much for sending me this product to review. I actually just bought in uh, a Keurig, and normally I'm not really big on coffee. I usually buy that instant coffee and just heat up my hot water and put my instant coffee, but I decided to buy the Keurig just because, I don't know, I just wanted to do something different and it just so happened they sent me this so now I am trying to hopefully start grinding my own coffee. So this is what came in the box and of course it have the instruction um, little books here and then here I also see a brush. This is cute and I'll take these out really quick. Of course, they have the instruction manual here. Tells you a little bit about the coffee grinder and what you can grind in it. Yeah, I guess you can do um, spices in there as well, beans or even rice. So if you're making like uh, rice porridge, you can grind the rice in here. But let's see what else. Of course, they have this, um, the lucky gift cards. If you go on their website and so forth. So, the machine itself, this is what it looks like. I'm going to unlock it. So, you have to turn it to unlock it. It have the cover. And it have the little container to put your spices or your coffee beans and they have a four to eight ounce or even max so of course when you go up to max that's as much as you can put in there so it's really cute really tiny and this is the motor and they have um pulse and zero one two really basic so let's plug it in and i had bought some coffee beans which I never had around my house. So let's see what this will do. Like I said, you can do spices in there too. So you can do like peppercorn or stuff like that or whole pimento seeds and stuff like that. You can use in that as well. So let's get this coffee bean started. Okay, so we are going to go in with four ounces. As you can see, I'm not doing too much. One thing I do love about coffee, you guys, it smells amazing regardless if you are a coffee drinker or not. It smells amazing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess that's my opinion. <laughs> and if you guys haven't followed us on our social media platform, please go ahead and do so. If you are new to our channel, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And if you are coming back, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that notification bell before you leave. And if you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. We will gladly appreciate that. So as you can see, I put in four ounces and I am going to put that in place. I already went ahead and plugged that device. And now I'm going to go ahead and lock the top. Make sure you lock it, just twist. And we are going to do this for 15 seconds. We're going to do number one for 15 seconds to see how that looks. The machine itself is not really loud, which is really nice. And I can see all that action right on top because they have that clear glass on top. And we're gonna give it five more seconds. I had it on number one. 
So I'm going to put it at zero, which is stop. And we are going to unlock, mm, not too bad. Granted, I don't have any um, coffee grinder. I didn't have one before. And I don't have an espresso machine, so I can't do no shots and whatnot. So for those of you who have an espresso machine, maybe this will serve you better than those of us who don't. But as you guys know, most of us from the Caribbean or so other countries, we do make our coffee without an espresso machine. So just boil water, just like we do back home. Take your, you know, uh, my grandma used to make these, I feel like they were stocking caps, but she put like a wire hanger type thing around it, some type of wire. And then they would like, she would just take the coffee ground and then put hot water in there. And then the coffee would just drain through that stocking cap, I want to say. <laughs> But it probably wasn't a stocking cap, but you guys know what I mean. They call it grip in Haiti. So I am going to probably do number two just to get it a little more fine, finer since I don't have an espresso machine. But so far, so good. This is definitely pretty good. Like I said, this is my first um, coffee grinder, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But this is pretty good. I said this is a good... Um, experiment for for if you want a first one if this is your first time buying one i guess just like this is my first time using it so i'm going to go in with number two and like i said you have to lock you have to lock it up otherwise it will not work and we are going to do maybe five seconds I guess it's not really locked up, so I keep doing that on me. Just to get it as fine as we can. This is pretty good. Ooh, that looks pretty good. You guys see that? That don't look too bad, actually. So, yes, like I said, I don't have an espresso machine, so I'm going to do my coffee that traditional Haitian grandma or Haitian style of coffee drinking and that's pretty much it guys I will leave all the details in the website how you can purchase your own down in the description box so make sure you check that description box so you can see how to purchase your own but this will do it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoy this like I said um I know a lot of people do drink coffee. This will be a great way to do something different, something new, so you don't have to spend all your coin at Starbucks, okay? So thank you so much for watching the video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And as always, continue to stay safe. I love you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.